What's going on guys? Connor owns fast food here back with a brand new video. I'm locking up the Mongo booty. Made it to Goodwill. I don't know if you guys could hear me. I don't usually just talk without the headphones, but I can't find them. So I decided to do a challenge video. And the challenge video is to buy new headphones with a little like adjuster or whatever. But I think I'm gonna do a challenge to get the ear pods, which would definitely be a very challenging video. This is 99 cents too, it's a Salt Life shirt. Usually I don't pick these up, but brand new tags, can't complain for a dollar. And then for four dollars, we have this size medium uh, Manchester United vintage Nike jersey. And uh, it's not too old, I think it's like 2003, which is actually pretty good, but all the tags are right there. And that happens with these older jerseys. We have this Lodo size 2XL, and it looks kind of older. Uh, Colombian jersey, but it is brand new with tags which is pretty dope. And then we have this really crazy multicolor windbreaker size small. It looks like it could fit like a men's small or a women's small. Probably gonna be like $5 sell for like 30, maybe 35. It's actually really cool. Majestic size 2XL, Alex Rodriguez. I think that's his name, $8. Nope, that's $6, even better. Not a highly desired jersey, but size XL. We got this kind of vintage, like early 2000s, Carmel Anthony jersey. Five bucks, probably sell for like $20, $25. It's actually in pretty good condition. There are a couple of small stains, but those are easy to get out and it's pretty normal for these types of jerseys to get those stains, especially because they're white. Three more finds. I don't know how much this is gonna be, but if it's like one to $3, I'll pick it up. It's like a little side bag. It's very small, and I figured you could put it through like your belt. Adidas, Cavaliers, LeBron James jersey, kids, size small. I figured if it's $3, sell for 15, and then we have a Rick and Morty shirt for $1. Honestly, I think that all those finds from the first stop will pay for the AirPods or EarPods, whatever they're called, Apple, AirPods, wireless, thingies. I don't know if I'm gonna get them actually, I'm not sure. Say I have them in my ears, will I be able to record like YouTube videos? Maybe you guys can answer that for me and then I'll order them tomorrow. Make sure you guys leave a comment. If I have the ear pods, like the wireless ones in my ear, can you guys hear me for my YouTube videos? So use it as a mic, pretty much. Damn, right on the new rolling rack, $2.99, what a steal. Size extra large, majestic. That's so sick. $2.99, what a steal, probably like $40. Nike t-shirt, that's game for $1.50. I sell these for about 15 to 20 bucks, depending on the style and colorway and size. Then we have a Newcastle jersey for $6. Uh, Northern Rock, it's a little bit scuffed up, but these older Newcastle jerseys sell pretty well. These Asics, New York City edition, I believe they're women's size eight, and then like a men's six and a half. $14.99, has a little bit of scuffs and stuff right there, but I should be able to get all that off. Saw one pair sell for $55 and then a couple more pairs on eBay. Brand new, they were going for 200. Used, I would say I will get like 60 bucks for them. So spending $15 to get 60, pretty good flip. Found these vintage Nike shorts and they have no price tag. Oh yeah, they do. And yellow tag is 25% off, so $3. They do have some stains on them, but I'm pretty sure those will come out. And then I just saw this Buffalo Bills satin jacket hopefully it's something dope yeah it is a custom but it does have the bills logo right there it looks kind of wanky i don't know that bills logo looks really weird though yeah i'm pretty sure it's a custom because look how wanky the letters are i'm gonna ask one friend just to make sure i don't pass it up it's honestly the logo is supposed to be like right there i knew it looked really weird when i saw like all this but the logo is supposed to be more like that way and then this part is supposed to be like right through the logo damn i thought it was a come up but yeah we still got the shorts though shorts are really dope got three more t-shirt finds nothing crazy just basic stuff a dollar fifty polo jeans co but a dollar fifty and a fifteen dollars is very good and then a dollar fifty this kind of racing tee i've never heard of it before but it's called sparko there we go. Dollar fifty. They were going for like fifteen to twenty-five, and this one was two dollars and fifty cents. Calvin Klein has like this really cool like material on the front. It has like the big logo with the spell out. Two dollars and fifty cents isn't too bad. I don't like spending too much more than that for t-shirts. I only get like fifteen, twenty bucks for. Game Boy Pocket. Looks like it's in mint condition with some games. All right, so I talked to the manager and I got the Game Boy with the games for $15. Yeah, I'm gonna open it right here just so you guys can see what's in there. All right, so for $15, I got the Game Boy Pocket with Pitfall. Has the battery cover and, oh, really good games too. I saw this one and then I saw kind of this one. I thought that was Mario, but it's War Wario Land. We got Yoshi, Donkey Kong, $50 for $15 spent. Not too bad. This is probably like 25, 30, probably like $60 maybe for $15 spent. Not too bad for video games. All right guys, my last stop is Thrift Sense right here. Uh, they take my bag at the door, so gotta make a pit stop at the front door, but we got purple and blue tag is half off. I'm only gonna buy something if I really need to. 
or if it's really worth it. I know I said I was only gonna pick up the really good stuff, but honestly, this is the butter that pays for the bills. So $1.99 denim supply, Ralph Lauren, gonna sell it for like 15, 20 bucks. This vintage made in USA, No No Nanette, and it's like a book or some movie or play. Made in USA, size extra large. There's no price on that, but I figured $2. Ron Bass shirt, size 2XL. And it's like all embroidered for $3.99. I saw comps on eBay going anywhere from $20 to $25. It has like this cool snake pattern on the back. $4 and a 20 bucks wouldn't be too bad. $2.99 for this J Crew for size large. It has like an all over embroidered polar bear design. Pretty dope. And I saw one pair sell for 15 and one pair sell for 30, but they weren't polar bears, so. I figured I'd pick them up, throw them up for like 20 bucks, maybe 25, so $3 and then $25. All right guys, I took off my sweatshirt because it was just too hot outside. It's like 73 degrees. I should have just been a man and like not worn a sweatshirt, but it was like 60 degrees in the morning. I know to a lot of you guys, 60 degrees is nothing, but for us in Florida, it's pretty cold. But when you're going against the wind on a bike, it's also like 10 degrees colder. I got a bag full of goodies and this was probably the last stop. We found a lot of good stuff at uh, Goodwill, Thrift City, Salvation Army. Got that Game Boy with a bunch of games. We got the Alex Rodriguez jersey. We've got the A6 today. Tons of really good finds. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys become a subscriber. Comment down below your favorite pickup of this video. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button and have a nice day. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.